Chris Six weather forecast. All righty, folks, let's start off by taking a look at the Snoopy Cam, looking off to the north-northwest across Laguna Madre at the JFK Causeway, where the traffic is very light right now, but it's unrestricted, not much in the way of slowdowns. And you got 63 degrees of that gusty north wind right now out in Flower Bluff at 17 miles an hour. But the satellite radar loop is showing very little cloud material way down south in the Rio Grande Valley, some high clouds, but that's pretty much it. It was a mild day today. 49 this morning, 64 this afternoon. Both these numbers uh, within uh, shouting range of normal, but that's going to be changing overnight. Look at the cold air poised to ease its way into our area. It's not even freezing at Amarillo, 37 in Lubbock, and you got 34 in Dallas right now. So the cold air is well entrenched over north and central Texas. And as we move into the overnight hours, we're going to feel that difference around here because of the dryness of the air and that cold north wind. Well, what we're seeing right now, temperatures in the 50s area wide. We got lower 60s across Corpus Christi and back towards Robstown and Kingsville. And these temperatures are going to take the old nesty plunge. What we're seeing is peak wind gusts earlier today, 35, 40, 45 miles an hour with that frontal passage and really clean things out as far as that dense fog early today. But overnight tonight, we're going to see temperatures well into the 20s in the northern inland areas. That's why they got the freeze warning. We'll be right at freezing here in Corpus Christi, just a hair above it in Kingsville. But you need to protect your tins of vegetation and do the normal things that you, you know, keep your plants in and your pets as well. Watch out for some folks there that can't watch out for themselves. So this is what we're seeing for your wind forecast overnight tonight. It does drop down a little bit, but it stays kind of breezy actually. As you move them through Saturday, becomes more easterly and then east northeasterly Sunday and that's when things begin to change again. It's a very changeable time frame here. Here's your feel like temperatures early tomorrow morning. You're going to see them down into the lower 20s and teens. So you're going to have to bundle up if you head out and uh, do the yard or something. Uh, tragic like that on a cold morning on Saturday. But this is what you're going to see for highs tomorrow, even cooler than today. 64 today, middle to upper 40s tomorrow. And then as you move on through into the coastal waters, only about 52 degrees tomorrow. With that northeast wind at 15 to 25 knots. Choppy to occasionally rough bays and four to eight foot seas. And yes, yeah, a moderate rip current risk. So here's what we're looking at. That high pressure you know, kind of migrate around a little bit, but it doesn't make much of a penetration south. A nice big ridge over us, but that is going to move away. We start to see a coastal trough develop, and that's where we're going to start to see precipitation by Sunday. And that's only the beginning because you've got a series of disturbances moving across, providing the instability. There's the first one on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then it starts to taper off Thursday into Friday, but still some isolated showers. So we're looking at a substantial amount of rain. Right now, the estimate from this model is one to three inches, but it could be more than that. Overnight tonight, an even 32 degrees as you go through the next several days. Fairly cold on Saturday, fairly mild, to warm Monday and